Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm on Dartmoor once again and I've got a 3 mile walk before I arrive at my photography location. So therefore I hope you enjoy my journey and I hope you enjoy the video. Hello guys, a massive welcome back here to Dartmoor. Today we're at Nuns Cross Farm, which is an abandoned farm, uh, currently used by one of the local colleges as a adventure place. But the sun has been out, as you would have seen from my journey. I really hope you like that. And all the clips, it was a really nice little walk. But I think it's sleet, maybe hail. It's looking very ominous up there, actually. But here it is our first composition. Really nice. Um, it's a really well photographed location here on Dartmoor. So it's hard to like find a new composition, but I think I've found one, which is good. So I'll just show you. Hopefully this hail or rain don't get too bad. So it's just a bit overexposed for the minute to show you the foreground. We've got Nuns Cross Farm here and we've got a tree there. That's definitely hail. So I've just got in my mouth, lovely. But yeah, that's actually getting a bit heavier, which is quite cool. But yeah, I'm actually just gonna completely take some photos. So excuse me for a minute. I can definitely confirm to you now, it's definitely hailing. And that has given us now a superb composition here. And let me just show you it. We've got Nuns Cross Farm to the left, a lonely tree to the right and that has given me a really nice composition and I have to say there is a bit of empty space to the right of the frame or composition um, but I think the tours in the background there are really helping just to give it a bit of depth in that corner and therefore that is my first composition. Uh, similar to my last uh, video we're waiting for that of course, really nice detailed foreground sunny shot and the darkness of the background. So, bear patience. Hopefully don't hail again, but that was pretty cool. I apologize if the lens is a bit um, water droppy because I actually took off the uh, lens cover I made for it this morning. So yeah, but just a bit of patience now and hopefully we get some. And here we go. We're about to get the sunlight coming back out. And it's gonna hit Nuns Cross Farm there perfectly. Here we go. Can you see how the whole scene right now has just brightened up really nice? And that's what I was saying, how now I can get the perfect contrast of light and dark in the foreground and the background, which I'll just actually show you. So as you'll see from the composition here, it's fantastic. Nuns cross the tree, and you'll notice in behind, we've got a really darker background compared to a really bright foreground. And that's given us a really nice composition. You've got some fantastic colors, detail, just overall fantastic scenery here on Dartmoor. It is a really nice composition. I'm gonna take a few more now, and then we're gonna head a bit closer, see what compositions then we can find, and yeah. See you in a minute. And here we go, guys. Look at this for a composition. This is even better than up there, and I thought that would be the best one. This is just superb. Wow, we've got this wall here. That gate is slightly open and that's really creating a bit of effect, I think, to the scene. Nuns Cross Farm here and of course the tree. Really nicely composed, actually. The tree is filling up that right-hand side of the frame. Nuns Cross, Nuns, Cross, Nuns Cross to the left. And of course we've got that fantastically placed um, gate and it's a bench then. <laughs> so, I've composed it like this, 
Right, I, I'm gonna have to quickly just tighten this up. And there is more hail. So I've actually composed this image perfectly from my view as I've got the door here and I've got the gate and it, it works, if you ask me. I don't know how to explain it, but I think it works perfectly. Having them both in line, yeah, that's it. Perfect, as you'll see, of course, here. We've got it open slightly and therefore it leads you in. That's it, that's what I was trying to say. But now, as this hell goes past, I'm just gonna wait for the bit of sunlight again and hopefully get a bit of darkness behind, but actually it's looking a bit brighter that way. But what I'll do is I'll post the photos as I was setting up here because I think they look good, so I hope you like them. So I'm just gonna quickly give you a settings run through. We're using F13 as our aperture, and that is because I like to get Nun's Cross in good focus, as well as the wall, also the tree. But as I'm focusing on Nun's Cross there, the tree is also in good focus. And then 200th of a second, that is because I want the tree to be nice and focused and not the um, branches bouncing around. Also, that helps with the reeves here. ISO low 100. Again, I don't need it at 64, purely because if I bring it too low, I'm gonna have to bring the shutter speed down. And of course I don't want that because I want everything nice and sharp. And of course you don't want the branches and reeves to be have that movement in. Uh, shooting in the 16 to 9 ratio, which is giving me a nice panoramic, almost, well, I guess you could say panoramic, um, composition, which is really nice. And custom white balance, 6400, as that's to get the scene as natural as possible. And yeah, I think that's it. Is that everything on settings wise? And I'm shooting in raw, as most landscape photographers do. And yeah, standard autofocus. It's looking good, we just snap one there. And I think, time to move on. And here we go, just like that, a new composition. Move to the right of Nun's Cross there. And you should hopefully be able to notice a little bit of water, a makeshift stream, I guess you could say, flowing down here. And this is actually gonna be in the bottom of my composition. I'll just show you it right now. So, the frame will go to here. You'll notice I've got the tree in the right hand corner. Nuns cross here, left hand tree there. And I'm getting it to here. And you'll notice the little stream going down here. And I've also got rock and I've got a bit of reef, reef, a bit of reeves there. So I'm gonna change my ratio now into the four thirds from 16 to nine, like so, to make sure I get everything in. And there we go. Simple, easy, but really different composition. Just like that. I hope you like the photo. So, I hope you like that photo. I think it looks really nice. And the settings I used to achieve that photo were, it's actually the same settings as last time, 200th of a second. And of course, that's given me a good shutter speed for the reeves here, and of course the trees. F13, of course, once again, good detail in the foreground, good detail in the background. ISO low 100, as per usual. And of course, I changed it to the four thirds ratio to get a good, nice, open, wide scene. There we go. Right. It's now time to head to the Hingston Hill Stone Circle. And here we go, we're here at Hingston Hill Stone Circle. Now I've actually made a video here before, so if you've not watched that, you'll be able to see it pop up there, so you can watch it here. And yeah, I have just had a little look around, see what compositions I can find. I've actually had a thought about putting the ND filter on and shooting that way, which is similar to the angle you're seeing right now. But I'm just waiting for a bit more cloud to come over, because I don't want to have too little cloud because I don't think it would look right. But yeah, there's not many compositions here I've actually found, which is a bit annoying, but not a problem. We've actually had some rain over the past week and that's created some really nice puddles here. So there's definitely an opportunity there to get some reflection photos if I can't find any nice compositions. 
But I think the best thing to do now, let me just set up behind you there and just get some nice basic photos, I think. So let's get to it. And here we go. Here's our first composition for Hingston Hill Stone Circle. We've got a nice bit of stone circle here, of course, stone row leading up. And then we've got a bit of a, bit of a small cascade in the valley going down there, which looks really nice. And for settings wise, I'm going to be using 200th of a second. Once again, F13 ISO low 100 in the 16 to nine ratio. So I'm just going to snap that nice and quickly, like so, done. Just like that, a nice and easy composition. And yeah, I hope you like that photo. I'll put it up for you now. I'm going to head down to the puddles and see if we can get some nice reflection photos. So let's get to it. And just like that, I find a superb composition here. You'll see the puddle, of course, and you'll notice it's reflecting that little bit of stone there, but also we're getting the cloud, which is looking fantastic. And therefore, I'm gonna quickly get that photo. Now I'm shooting in a 16 to nine ratio, but I guarantee you when I edit it in post-process, I'll crop it out to four thirds, possibly. But yeah, what a cracking little composition that is really nice now i'm actually just going to switch us into portrait and let's see what we can find hopefully a nice and different composition might have to go a bit lower is that possible oh the legs are in the mud oh that's low right i'm gonna get myself a bit wet for this one there we go just got a nice little composition going here hopefully i'll be able to show you yep lovely so you'll notice that we've got the reflections in the puddle we've actually getting this big one also and you've got these nice clouds here not reflecting but it's still creating a nice photo in that top half of the frame it's nicely got a bit of detail to it and let me just snap that i believe i'm using the same settings as last time yep And here we go. This is where I'm going to say goodbye. What a great view towards Baratul there. Sheep's Tour just over that way, out of frame. I believe Shabby Tour and Levitor may be over here somewhere, possibly. But yeah, a massive thank you for watching today's video. Uh, I'd just like to say a thank you as well to everyone who has subscribed um, from my video of the two styles that I photographed with the Marines that I bumped into. That video's just done insane which i'm completely surprised with so once again a massive thank you for watching that and i've actually gained a lot of subscribers so if you're here from that video a massive welcome and thank you for subscribing it means a lot to me and yeah i think that's it i have to say so i hope you enjoyed today's video and i hope you like the photos as well and then might have got a little clips i've got one of the sheep so we'll see that one and yeah thank you for watching today's video and i'll see you soon